This is TOS Television, your digital force for an African news network. I am Abigail Lukmade and this is Africa Now. Zambian Army Captain Imwila Chansa is battling to adopt a baby she first met while on deployment as a UN peacekeeper in the Central African Republic. The captain made the decision to adopt the baby girl whose mother died from complications after giving birth in November 2020. Both the country's Islamic law and bureaucracy has made navigating the process long and laborious. Zambian President Hakainde Hichilema heralded Captain Chansa for demonstrating humanity in her work. Authorities in Ethiopia's war shattered Tigray region are forcing young people to join their army's fight against the central government by threatening and jailing relatives, according to captured fighters and residents. Gindeya Gebrehiwot, who, from, who is from the Tigrayan External Relations Officer, said that some low ranking government officials have detained family members to force their relatives to enlist. But he said such incidents were rare and that the relatives had been released and the officials punished. Now, Human Rights Watch has accused armed insurgent groups, government security forces and militia in Burkina Faso of committing increased abuses against civilians as the conflict there intensifies and widens. The organization is urging the Burkina Faso government, which took part in the January 22 coup, to better protect civilians from attack and ensure that government forces respect human rights. The government of Zimbabwe on Sunday dismissed allegations that it had been hiding a Rwandese fugitive wanted for alleged involvement in the 1994 genocide. Reports emerged earlier this week that the body of protest in Priranya, who has been the subject of a 20-year manhunt, was found buried in an overgrown cemetery outside Harare under a false name in Dume Sambao. The body was exhumed last month at the request of United Nations investigators and in Priranya has the identity was confirmed by DNA analysis. Now Mali is pulling out of a multinational military force fighting Islamist militants in the West Africa Sahel region, the country's military junta said in a statement on Sunday. The G5 Sahel force, which includes troops from Niger, Chad, Burkina Faso and Mauritania, was set up in 2017 to counter jihadists who have swept across the region in recent years, killing thousands of people and forcing millions to flee their homes. But the force has been hobbled by a lack of funding and has struggled to reduce the violence. This is your digital force Pan African News Network, TOS Television. You're watching Africa now. More stories coming your way after the break. Do stay tuned. Welcome back. Somalia's former leader Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has been elected president after a final vote that was only open to 328 members of parliament. He defeated the current president Mohammed Abdullahi Famajo, who has been in office since 2017. The former education campaigner and peace activist who ruled from 2017 to 20, 2012, I beg your pardon, to 2017, faces a daunting task in the nation of 15 million people, which is sovereign its world's drought in four decades and has endured seemingly never-ending conflict since 1991. Kenya's Deputy President William Ruto, one of the front-runners in this year's presidential election, has picked businessman Rigati Gachugua as his running mate. Gachagua is facing trial in charges of corruption and money laundering worth $65 million, which he denies. He is from Kenya's largest community, the Kikuyu, whose support is vital in Kenya's ethnically charged elections. Still on politics, thousands of Tunisians protested on Sunday against President Kais Saeed, demanding a return to normal democratic order and rejecting his replacement of the Independent Electoral Commission with one he named himself. Saeed has entrenched his one-man rule since seizing executive power last summer, dismissing parliament, moving to rule by decree, and saying he will replace the democratic constitution through a referendum.
Saeed denies a coup, saying his intervention was legal and necessary to save Tunisia from years of political paralysis and economic stagnation at the hands of a corrupt, self-serving elite who are taking control of the government. Now moving away from politics. South Africa's state power utility ESCOM on Sunday said that it will increase the hours of daily power cuts for Monday and Tuesday because it lost more generation capacity over the weekend. On Monday and Tuesday evening at the same time, load shedding will be implemented at stage 3, ESCOM said in a statement, adding that load shedding will be reduced to stage 2 for the rest of the week. Stage 2 is a 5-hour rolling blackout. And in sports. Morocco's renaissance Bakene will face South Africa's Orlando Pirates in Friday's Confederation Cup final after advancing from Sunday's semi-finals. Bekane won the Confederation Cup in 2020 while Pirates lost in the 2015 final but have never before won the trophy. The final will be played in Uyo, Nigeria on Friday. And that is it on Africa Now. For more updates, so visit our website at www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow us and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Abigail Okwade. Thanks for watching.